Cooper here. I am one of the territory managers for Group Stall, and we talk a lot about the Hotronics 360 IQ in so many videos. We show you how to decorate beautiful emblems and patches on headwear. It's a cap press, it's designed for headwear. But today, I'm gonna to spend a little bit of time doing non-headwear items on the 360. You heard me right, non-headwear items. I love this little press for anything that will fit on the footprint. Left chest, sleeve, shorts, bags, scarves, gloves, you name it. Anything that'll fit on this little 360, I've decorated it. So come on in a little bit closer, let's take a look and I'll show you how to do some of these fun items. First item I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys today is this beautiful Sherpa quarter zip pullover with our faux leather. I've actually pre-taped this with some of our thermo tape. Very easy, and we will have a link for this little handy tool. 280 on the top, 320 on the bottom, 15 to 20 seconds for this product. I'm going on the lower end for this product just because this is a little bit of a heat sensitive item. I have a five on my pressure. I'm gonna use my foam pad, 15 second dwell. We're gonna remove the item. I'm gonna take off my thermo tape. Finished product, beautiful faux leather on a Sherpa quarter zip. Next product, I'm gonna demonstrate a really lightweight, 100% poly tote with our Cad Prince Permatwill. I am gonna turn my dwell time up to 25. Same recipe, 280 on the top, 320 on the bottom. Lay my bag on here. Make sure your handle is not on the platen, impeding proper application. You could pre-tape this down as well, but the seam is right there. I know I'm pretty close. I'm actually going to pre-hold it down, start to activate the adhesive so it doesn't slip on me. We include a non-stick cover sheet just so the gases and the ink from the Cad Prince Permatwill don't seep into my white foam pad. 25 second dwell on that. And I have a beautifully applied custom Permatwill look on 100% poly tote. Next item, we're gonna do a pair of exercise shorts. Again, super easy. You can pre-tape the item down, not required. This has a nice hem that I can reference as my guide. We're gonna showcase our textured flex style emblem. Great brand elevating look. Again, I'm gonna kind of hold it down on there just for a few seconds to kind of melt it on there. I'm gonna use my thinnest eighth inch foam pad for 25 seconds. This is a peel cool. So we're just gonna set it aside for one moment while it peels cool and I'm going to apply a full zip hoodie sleeve with our domed flex style. I've pre-taped this. Left sleeve, left chest, you can always pre-tape. Makes it a little bit quicker and easier in production to just take your pre-taped item and lay it down on your heat press. Just making sure you center it on your platen there. This is my largest of all of the logos that I've shown you today at about two and a half inches tall, which is the max size of the bottom platen, two and a half inches tall. Twenty-five 
25 second dwell, 280 on the top, 320 on the bottom. Again, this is a cool peel, so we'll set it to the side and then we'll bring in to peel it. Now that our flex style emblem has completely cooled, I'm going to just peel it cool. And what's left is a very cool three dimensional textured emblem on my shorts. And now that my sleeve has cooled on my hoodie, what is left is a super brand elevating domed with metallic flex style emblem on the sleeve of my full zip hoodie. We have decorated four beautiful items using four completely different finishes, all on the 360 IQ cap press, none of which are hats. So great, so easy, as long as it fits within the two and a half inch max height by four and three quarter max width footprint, you can decorate it on this little unit. Super easy, super convenient, really, really fun. For more information on all of these products and the 360, be sure to click the link in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, follow, and like us.